the continent remained a violent place during the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries, a hazardous location for everyone who lived there. The North and the South are at war over territory in their respective empires, with Nilfgaard violently seizing territory for their Emperor Emir, otherworldly wraiths known as the Wild Hunt invading the land and covering it in the white frost, seizing people from their homes, and turning them into slaves for their undead army. On top of all of this, ferocious monsters of all kinds roam the lands, building nests to repop. Early on, when the lands were being populated, those in authority sought assistance from special warriors known as Witcher, whose sole mission was to battle monsters of all kinds using their skills as well as magical powers and concoctions to kill them and eradicate them from existence. But as time went on and humans began to predominate, these warriors lost their reputation as some of the most terrifying people in the land who created them in this video. We examine the law and history of the cat eye magic-wielding warriors known as witches and why they are feared by humanity. We also look at how their numbers have changed over time, as the catastrophic event of the conjunction of the spheres occurred. Creatures from all different spheres throughout the multiverses began to invade all the other lands. Monsters of all kinds, including werewolves, vampires, and ghouls, flooded the land known as the continent and began taking over. Additionally, humanity was beginning to take over the continent, as the elves who had originally lived there were pushed away onto other spheres. The monsters that had crossed over from other spheres were far too numerous, and were killing people left, right, and center. Humanity needed to find a solution to this problem or else the monster populations would increase and their existence on this sphere would eventually come to an end, fortunately for humanity. However, another mysterious thing happened. Due to the discovery of chaos, mages began to rise to power and were established as some of the northern rulers' most valuable resources to help them continue their goal of populating the continent. With this in mind, the northern rulers collaborated with the mages to develop a new kind of warrior, who would be able to use magic and finally deal with the monsters that were outpacing all of their forces. Possibly these adults had the mental capacity to handle the magic they were being given. But they failed the test, and the mages were looking for another way to solve their issue. After deciding that the adults were failures, they turned their attention to children as their next subjects. During this time, a mage by the name of Osser spent weeks collecting 38 children from uncaring homes or the streets, and then brought them back to the castle in Risberg. There, they were immediately put through rigorous training regimens that would test their agility and survival skills, including climbing cliffsides, running obstacle courses full of traps, dodging swinging pendulums while blindfolded, and more. The experiments were getting closer, and the kids were getting faster and stronger by the minutes before they underwent the experiments. The kids had started making and consuming bubbling mushroom stews and soapy alchemical teas. But now as the experiments waged on, the mages encountered a new problem. The experiments were deaths were occurring all around, and it appeared that the experiments had been in vain because none of the children could turn into these warriors. Eventually, five of the boys survived and had transformed into robust, adaptable people whom the mages named the witches. Despite this, some mages, like Alzheimer, wanted to continue their experiments and push these new mutated people further. The group traveled to a new castle called Castle Morgreg and continued their experiments there. The Order of the Witcher had been formally established within Castle Morgreg, where they would unite with a sense of duty and honor to their code and go about carrying out contracts to aid the northern realms of the continent. During their stay in the castle, the mages continued to experiment on children they had obtained from all over the lands and forced them into trials to help them become the Witcher they needed them to be. The first trial they were subjected to was the Crucible, where they would consume the grasses. The process would last a week, and the children would have the herbs and elixirs injected directly into their veins to immobilize them. The average lifespan of a child in this environment would be three days. Those who survived the process would experience madness, vomiting, seizures, and cold sweats. When they eventually awoke on the seventh day, their eyes would change to a cat light form. After undergoing the Witcher process, the subjects would have superhuman reflexes, slower aging, increased physical strength, and enhanced senses. They would then have to endure the trial of the dreams, which involved psychedelic visions produced by druids and mages. This trial was intended to further improve the subjects' abilities and help them improve their night vision. But it also required the witches to undergo complete sterilization. Later in the Witcher years, the Witcher had to navigate caves inhabited by an old cyclops without waking him up, climb a troll's head, deal with rock trolls, 
and reach a circle of elements before activating their medallion. After completing these trials, the witches were considered to be official members of the witchers. For Vesemir in his youth, he underwent a trial of the medallion. After all of this, however, many many children perished in the process, with Vesemir being one of the few children still alive. However, at the conclusion of the procedure, a master witcher could challenge one of the new witcher to a trial of the sword. When winter arrived, the Witcher and Castle Morgrig would return to the castle, have drinks with their brothers, and pay tribute to those who had died while on the path by hanging their medallions in the middle of their grand hall. As the years went by, the witches became more successful, but the mages who had helped set them up had started to leave in droves. The order was in danger as more and more Witcher turned against their obligations and love for their brotherhood. But there was a new issue. Witchers were becoming too successful across the kingdoms, and as a result, Fear was gripping the human settlers and the kings. The very people who had wanted to create these mutated humans were now seeking to destroy them out of their own fears. The continent was now in the 11th century. The Witcher School of the Wolf had finished establishing its primary base of operations in Kermorin, and the witches were still in the height of their power, signing contracts wherever they could. All the schools were now located throughout the continent. Monsters were dying in droves because the highly successful mutant warriors were using all of their skills to hone their magic abilities and take on some genuinely terrifying foes and for the school of the wolf one of their stories had yet to be told that witcher would be Geralt of Rivia and his tale would help the witcher's name remain forever in the history books he would save the world from the wild hunt and would become a father figure to the princess Cyrilla daughter of Emperor Amir and that is the lore and the history of the mutated warriors of the witchers if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe so I can reach the minimum required subscribers for monetization so I can get some money to make you guys bigger and better videos put shrooms in the comments so I know that you made it to the end of the video and if you really want to make me smile go send the word shrooms in my twitch chat my twitch link is in the description you can also click the suggested video on screen that YouTube has handpicked just for you. I'll catch y'all later.